All right, guys, Kazoo71 here, back on Ark Survival Ascended. This was once again recorded a while back here on 1029. You can see I still have this blonde hair I started with, kind of brown hair. So we just tamed that Therizinosaur. I flew back with it. I kind of skipped part of that flyback just to get back to the base. So in this episode, I want to kind of show you guys a little bit around a couple more spots here. We're going to look for some Explorer notes. I'm going to go pick up my Dillo that I left behind. So right now I'm just going to learn the Ingram for the Therizinosaur saddle. Go ahead and get that crafted. So we can start using that to collect some wood. And we can start working on this base build. Now, I apologize. I'm so far behind. I'm not like super fast. I have a full-time job. Do other stuff as well. So um, recorded a whole bunch. Played quite a bit when it first came out. I'm still playing it. Just uh, not every day like I was the first couple of days when it came out. So I could record all this stuff. A lot of things have... Uh, not a lot of things have changed, but there's been some some changes in the graphics and stuff like that. And uh, I've changed my computer, got a better computer that can deal with the graphics a little bit better. So at some point in here, I'm gonna switch these graphics down a little bit, and then when I get on my new computer, I'll switch them up. And I have to switch recorders because some reason Shadow Play with Nvidia does not work on my new computer. It, it sounds really muffled and nasty, so I got to use a different recorder, and I got to go back to the Microsoft Game Bar. So anyway, so on my um, RG here, there is a Therizinosaur, a really low level right here. So we're going to go ahead and kill this one. Just because I don't want these low level things around me. Maybe something better will spawn by. I'll get a better one than the one I tamed. Um, this one needs to go. Just can't have it. And this was all, like I said, uh, a few days after it came out. Game came out on the 25th, I think. 25th. And this is the 29th, so four days later. Um, turkey trials is over now we're about to start uh, a couple of days from now actually tomorrow today's the 20th so tomorrow when I post this video the Christmas events gonna start so I'll try to do a couple of videos with that one as well but uh, just flying around right by the base where I'm building just seeing what's out here and we're gonna head back there's a couple of things running right there like a couple of dillos chasing them for my shops let me save you my shots by killing you let's save you by killing you there you're safe safe in the air look at it spawns this spawn thing this uh death thing in the air thing is has kind of gone away too so i don't know what changes they did but stuff's not dying in the air as much as it was it's kind of falling to the ground now so that's one of the things they did fix whoops sorry parasaur you ran right into me as i was killing the dragonflies whatever those things are called they start with a m i just call them dragonflies they're they're annoying they're usually by the swamp, so I don't know why they're right here, because I'm not by the swamp. They changed where the, some of the stuff spawned here on this uh, Ark Survival Ascended, too, so it's a little bit different. Still the same stuff, mostly spawns in the same areas. But I do notice some of the things are a little bit weird, like there's a lot of Trudons where I'm building that, right? Trudons or Trudons, whatever you want to call them, where I'm building that, which normally, I don't think there normally is. But it's okay. A lot of bad things up there I mentioned in the previous episode, you know. Uh, Truodons, Carnos, Therizinosaurs, Raptors, Dillos. There's also Triceratops and Stegosauruses. See that thing died in the air here? So this one had babies, so we're going to go claim his babies here. You can get me a pooper. Get ready for my um, garden that I don't even have yet two months later. <laughs> I still have a clean to do. Oh wait, this one's got the babies. That one didn't have the babies. Maybe it's this one. So anyway, so I haven't even made a garden yet, guys. I've moved my base. I built the base, and I moved the base, and I still don't have a garden. There's one. Let's claim this one. So all you got to do is run up to them and claim them. You can kill the mom. Or someone else said you can tame the mom. So you can tame the mom and, and tame them as well. But, you know, yeah. I don't kill the mom. Tame the baby. This works the same. Carry these guys back to the base, and I'm going to go fly around a little bit. Now, once again, when I hit the Explorer notes, I'm going to shut up and not talk. Because I want you guys to be able to hear what they're saying with the Explorer notes. So I left that one on follow to see if it kind of followed me back a little bit. We'll pick them up. Use these guys to make fertilizers. One of the things I do with, uh, I know a lot of people use other stuff, but, you know. I use the pooper. I call them the poopers because you put stem berries in them and they will poop a ton. And you can use that poop for fertilizer or you can use that poop to throw in a compost bin to make fertilizer. Or you can use that poop to throw it in the dung beetle and make fertilizer. So, anyway, these are the best poopers, I think, on the game. They poop a lot. They like to poop. They have that t-shirt that says, yeah, I pooped today. Woohoo! Anyway, they poop all the time. 
I don't even know how to say their name. Fiomi? Fiomi? They're poopers. I call them the poopers. <laughs> I don't name anything right. Even if I try to say it right, I say it wrong, and somebody's going to be like, Oh, you said that wrong? It's the end of the world! Okay. Anyway. So there we go. Two poopers. And we are going to leave them here to let them raise. i got feeding troughs down. So just flash forward a little bit here. I'm flying towards the green obelisk. I'm cutting out some of this stuff, but I'm going to show you guys some of these. I'm going to start looking for the Explorer Notes. I know where quite a few Explorer Notes are on Ark Survival Evolved. So for the most part, what I found out is they are still pretty much in the same area on Ark Survival Ascended. They do look a little different. And this one I'm heading towards right now is not here. So I might just be missing it, but there's usually one right on this ledge here. Right there, I'm facing it. Uh, right there, I'm facing it right here. So right here on this ledge where I'm going to land, there's usually an explorer note right here. But it is not here. So I don't know where they moved this one to. But I looked around in here. I cut down all these trees. I've looked in here a couple of times now, guys. I'm not finding it. So I don't know if I'm just missing it or not. Or it's behind a rock, maybe. I don't know. But it is not right here. Because it was usually right about here is where it usually is. So I'm kind of flying down here looking to see if maybe they moved it down here. But I don't see it down here either. So I don't know. This one's kind of a mystery to me. This is one of the two that I've looked for that I can't find where they used to be. So this is this, the first one that I was looking for. There's two of them. So just going forward a little bit here. I'm flying up for I'm almost where this is where I tamed the Therizinosaur. Where I knocked that Dillo out as well. Don't really care about this Dillo, but since I'm flying this way, we're going to pick him up. I got a crap pod. Let's pick him up. Let's save the poor guy. I ditch tamed him. My daughter does that a lot. A couple players on my servers, they like to do that too. Just tame him. It's easier than killing them sometimes. I don't get that. I just kill them. <laughs> I don't want them. They're dead. So, uh, anyhow, so flying over here. Now, this is where um, on my Ark Survival Evolved, if you guys watched that playthrough on the island, this is a second base. This is where I build my base when I'm kind of upgrading um, on this little beach right here. So I've got free access or, or quick access to the snow. The mountain to the right of me up here where there's some crystal and metal. And then straight across the water there's Carno Island where there's a cave, an artifact, as well as a lot of Argentavis and Rexes and stuff you can tame. So there should be an artifact right here where these rocks are. This is where one of them is. My base I built is right here, right where my bird is right now. So still kind of flat, so I can still build it here again, but I'm not going to. I'm going to build somewhere else this time. Yep, there it is. See the little pillar right here? There's an explorer note. Greetings and salutations, dear reader. If these words are gracing your eyes, then you have had the good fortune to find the journal of Sir Edmund Rockwell, stupendous scholar, gallant gentleman, and explorer extraordinaire. It also means that it's entirely possible that I've met some unseemly end on this fascinating but exceedingly dangerous island that I call home. I suppose you could have also stolen it, or I could have misplaced it, in which case, please proceed to either hang your head in shame or return it to me at once, whichever is appropriate. Regards. So Edmund Rockwell. <laughs> okay, so there's another note right here. So we're going to grab this one too. Then we're going to head to the third one. There's another th third one right here too. Castoroides is a large mammalian herbivore that tends to live near water. Unlike other larger beaver species, this one retains the chisel-shaped teeth of modern beavers. As is typical for beavers, they build dams as habitats. But the larger creatures on the island have a tendency to trample them. As a result, Finding unsullied dams in the wild is quite rare. Castoroides itself doesn't seem to realize how dangerous the island is. I don't know if it's simply too dumb to notice the dangers, or if it just doesn't care. But Castoroides happily goes about its day, playing in the water and gnawing on wood. The value of a tamed Castoroides is obvious from its physiology. The creature naturally gathers wood extremely efficiently, far more than most species on the island. It's not the strongest creature, so it can only carry limited amounts. But it is a natural lumberjack. All right, so we're going to head down to this Lost Lake over here. So this is kind of the little trench between Lost Lake and the snow. So I'm going to head to the right here. We're going to go in these little trees. 
and this is where Lost Lake is, where there's usually some beaver, sometimes a sarco, some raptors and stuff. But this is a, a spot where a lot of people are familiar with. This is a little changed than it looks on Ark Survival Evolved, as you guys can see. It's a little overgrown. There's more rocks, more trees. A little bit less pronounced. But this is the lake. And this looks like a lake I grew up, or a little pond I grew up fishing in with the little algae and stuff around the edges. So it's pretty cool looking. All right, so um, there's a raptor right there. That looks like an alpha raptor, I think. Let's see, I am positive. Well, I'm not positive. I don't know if there was another raptor, but I know there's an alpha raptor here. You guys are going to see me kill it in just a minute. I think that might be it, though. Let me see. Let me look around. Now, there's another one there, too. There's a raptor and an alpha raptor here. All right, so we're going to get in these trees here. There should be another. Yeah, there's a note right behind that big tree. Kill these dragonflies that are coming at me again. Right behind this big tree is another explorer note. This is another talk one, so I'll shut up and we're gonna listen to this one as well. There's the alpha raptor right there. And the raptor. Miss Walker's impromptu visits are always an unexpected pleasure. After that headache with the sharks and Blackfoots, a lively tea time discussion about the abnormalities of the Ark's ecosystem was precisely what I needed. Thank goodness I've managed to find an intellectual colleague that shares my love for the sciences. It saddens me to think that Miss Walker's charming colonial accent would keep her out of the more prestigious institutions and societies back home. Another of the Ark's wonders, it is a true meritocracy unlike any in the modern world. If Miss Walker and I could find and cultivate more minds like ourselves, we could create a true scientific utopia. <laughs> and now the fight's on. You guys heard the raptors. That's the sound the raptors make in uh, Jurassic Park, man. The, the movie, so it's kind of funny. But uh, I think, you know, yeah, Art probably copied quite a bit of that from there. Who knows? There we go, we're gonna kill this after alpha raptor. That's pretty easy to kill. We're gonna go ahead and harvest that guy. And we're gonna kinda end this video here, guys. Just a little exploring. We'll do a little bit more on the next one. If you guys enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.